helped families that lived on his street, only 20 survived. So what you're about to hear is a real recollection, as it was written in a personal journal just after the crisis by one of his neighbors. Where did all the bread disappear? I do not really know. Maybe they've taken it all abroad. The authorities have confiscated it, removed it from the villages, loaded grain into the railway coaches, and took it away someplace. They've searched the houses and taken away everything, to the smallest thing. All the vegetable gardens, all the cellars were raked out, and everything was taken away. It was so dreadful that every day became engraved in my memory. People were lying everywhere as dead flies. The stench was awful. Many of our neighbors and acquaintances from our street died. We tried to survive the best we could. We collected grass, goosefoot, burdocks, rotten potatoes, and made pancakes, soups from putrid